So now what you're going to want to do is get your receiver that you're going to use and get your radio and go to the model that you're going to use for this plane and set all the trim, the trims and sub trims to zero. And then get your servo and plug it in, doesn't matter, it just plug into the elevator or aileron. And then you're going to want to turn on all this stuff. So as you can see here, um, my my stick now is moving my servo. So now what you're going to do is go, um, you're going to go and make sure your all your trims are at zero, and you're going to want to make sure the servo is centered. And then put your control horn on when your servo is still centered. Now, that's not totally centered, but that's where those little gears in there will make it go closest to center. So that you're going to make sure that's centered, then you're going to take your screwdriver, you're going to get that little screw that goes in the servo arm, and you're going to, I guess that screw is, whoa, there's something in my screw. That's different, I've never had that happen before. I don't know if you can see this, come on, focus, but there's something in that screw. Well, that's a default. Um, that's defect, not default. Uh, well, that's weird. So, whatever. I'm just going to. I'll just get us. I'll just go into my. This is why people. This is why it's a good. Um, a good idea to keep all your old stripped servos. This one doesn't seem to be stripped. Why is it in there? Oh, well, I'm sure it's broken somehow. Anyways, take your swag. Um, take out your little screw, another one, and go ahead and put that on there, like that, and just screw that on. So that you're making sure that servo is centered, and you're putting your control horn on on the servo, so it's centered. Now what you want to do is go over here and take out another servo and plug it in and do the same thing to the other one so get your little bag of stuff find your good one and just go ahead and put that on now look one see how this one i had that pointing out and it's like that but this one i'm going to have it the opposite so that wire should be so that wire is pointing in, and my servo control horn should be facing out. Now, see that? Works good. So, just notice how those are different. Like, see this, the wire on this one is coming out of that side, and this is down. The wire on this one is coming out of this side, and this is pointed down. So now I'm going to get my screw once again, and go ahead and put this in there. Screw that down. So now my servos are ready to attach to the airplane, and then I'll also do my control rods. So now I'm just going to unplug all this stuff and put all those little bits and pieces in a bag because those can be helpful. So, yeah. So you wish you had my ice cream. And what you're going to do now is find the um, push rods that came with your, or that you should have if you bought them from rcfoam.com, and they look like this. They come with a bunch of little hardware. But um, we're not actually going to use any of that hardware. You should save that for some other plane that you want to build. All we need is about this much of the push rod. This is um, what I've done. You see here, this, um, that little Z right there used to be that one right there. But I just um, bent it another time. Um, right, I didn't bend it up here. I bent it down here another time to make a Z bend like that. And then... You should also have a Z bend like this, and notice how those are both pointing upwards. So that Z, that whole rod right there, is um, three and one fourth inches um, long. So that's going to go to your servo right there. You see that? Um, you might want to make it like three and a half inches long. That would be good. Mine might be a little too short, but you just need to do that. Um, basically, you're not going to use like 20% or like 80% of this rod so you can just use that for some other plane so yeah just make make two of these nice little wire things so yeah do that do it so now what you're gonna do is take your 
your push rod and thread one side through the control horn and what's happening here is you just kinda have to not force it so it breaks the wood but just kinda wiggle it back and forth until it fits, fits in there and now you see you've got your push rod on your control horn and now you want to take the servo that has remember how you put those um, the horns on the servo so that one was one way and one was the different way what you want to do is you want to find the one for this side that has the the arm facing this way and the wire facing this way all right and then you want to put this on there so that that's the same I'm just putting it on the top hole of the servo arm see that and now what you want to do is make sure your servo is centered which mine is and you want to just see the sticker on here you're going to want to take that off because you don't want your glue to stick to a sticker you want it to stick to plastic so you're going to peel that off like that and you're going to hot glue hot glue guns off so you're going to take your, your servo here you're going to put a bunch of glue on the back of it not a bunch but you know like that much and you're going to make it so that your control surface is flat and you're just going to stick it down like that so that your control surface is flat and your servo is on see that just like that and now notice how my servo has some space in between here if you're watching this video before you actually do this then it would be a good idea to make this push rod the length um, that so the servo is up here closer um, just cause it looks better or whatever so anyways there you can see that that works but it would be better to have it um, closer so now you can see here to the other side and I can do this super quickly just cause I'm gonna thread that one in there yeah these there must be like some wood wood or something in there left so I'm just gonna turn that take my, my servo take that sticker off there put this in here push it and then turn it and glue my servo like that and stick her down like that now you've got some wiring to do once that dries a little bit notice how these wires are just sitting there so what you're going to do take some masking tape and if you want it to look pretty clear tape so I guess I'll just use clear tape because why not um and you want to go and take a little piece of clear tape see that and just take your wire and just stick it back onto the foam so that it's held under that KF airfoil and you're just going to put it down like that you see I'm just going along and taping my um, wire to my airfoil or the back of it so that there will be minimum drag and now you've got your wire all wired on over there now do that to the other side and then we'll move on to something else that I'm not sure what it is yet so now we're gonna so now we're gonna cover um, plugging all your stuff into the radio and that's pretty simple just take your wires and plug them into the correct places on your your radio so your receiver so as you can see mine goes like that they're all in there and then I'm gonna put mine probably just down there you know so it's kinda flush with the top of the airfoil almost so I'm just gonna put some glue on there slap some glue on that and then just stick it back in there it's kinda tucked in there hidden away not really but still and then what I'm gonna do is take some tape and get all my wires up hidden here and I'm gonna where'd my tape go there it is the tape flew away and I'm just gonna stick them down like that notice how my wires are covered in tape and yours aren't so you need to do that now and basically why is that all bent this wires bent okay there we go so that's gonna go around and plug into my battery now and those wires are taped over so that's good see that all the wiring is pretty much done see how it's just nice and good like that 
Um, now we're gonna put on the prop. Just kidding, we're not gonna put on the perp. Um, first of all, you're gonna take a popsicle stick like this. See that? Or you can use some of that leftover carbon rod from the inside of the plane, and you're gonna cut the tips off of it like that. And you're gonna take your hot glue gun wire out from under your tripod, and then you're gonna put some glue on the tips of that. You see there? How there's some glue on the tips of that? And you're gonna put one end here and one end there, and that makes that strong. Now you're gonna go over here and put glue on the top of that and smear it all in there so it kinda makes all that solid. See that? And you're just gonna smear that around. Okay. So that will make your um your vertical stabilizer a lot stronger. You see that? That is beautiful. That is what makes a beautiful airplane right there. So now we're gonna move on to putting on your purple.